What's up guys? Welcome back. Another beautiful day out here in Bangkok, Thailand. And today's video guys, we're going to check out the floating markets here. Um, we're actually going to the Damnion Sadwak floating market, which is about 45 minutes to an hour outside of Bangkok, depending on traffic. And yeah guys, the cab is here. Um, let's go. All right. Okay. Hey, we. Good morning. Okay, morning. All right. So that's we, my driver there. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we're heading to Damnian Saduak yeah. Floating Market. Yeah. So yeah, guys. Like I said, I'm on my way to the floating market, and I chose to go explore the floating market, guys, because I just feel it's an incredible idea and thought out way of living that these locals come up with, you know, to earn a living. You know what I'm saying? The floating market is basically a market on a canal and you take the boat yes. right up the canal. On your way up the canal, they're gonna be shopping, food, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So I just think it's something that that is worth exploring and that's why I'm doing this today. All right guys, so yeah man, just a quick fun fact on the reason why I decided to go explore this place. Alright guys, so we finally made it. Um, it really took about an hour and a half and we're now in Damnyang Saduak district and that's in Ratchaburi, Thailand. So let's go explore this Damnyang Saduak floating market. Alright. And by the way guys, I did a lot of research with the locals and they let me know that um, like the floating markets that in and around are close to Bangkok, they're really small. So it's not so much of a beautiful experience as coming all the way out here, which is why I chose to do this one, you know? So I guess this is where you um, buy the ticket for the boat because of course you know you're going to be floating in a boat and you're going to have the, that boat driver to yourself for however long you want to be on the water you know I'm only probably going to be on the water for about an hour, hour and a half because I just came here to grab some lunch and document this stuff to show you guys you know but um, I just feel like this is such an incredible experience mainly because how thoughtful these people are to think about coming up with this way of earning a living you know yeah it's very beautiful it's a beautiful thing so I, I, I knew I had to come here just to get the experience you know All right, guys, so we just paid the money and now we're just waiting to board the long tail boat to go explore the market.
There we go. Oh. Alright guys, we just bought the boat as you can see. We're now about to explore this floating market. And I got this boat all to myself. By the way guys, the prices for these boats are ridiculous. It's best to come here in groups. I had to work my negotiating skills to the T. Really the prices start at 2,500 baht. And I only paid a thousand baht, all right, for an hour. So just be mindful of that. This is crazy, but it's worth doing. to get through this tight space here and this is pretty cool this is pretty cool guys and we're off like that lady lives right there guys this is so cool we are not even at the market yet but it's just already a cool experience and we just got started That's the first shop on the side here guys. It's actually selling beer and stuff. Seems like those guys are searching for something in the water. I don't know what they're searching for. They search for something. Seems like this is another house right here, like somebody lives right here. This is so cool guys, I'm loving this experience. It's a blessing man, thank God. Guys, we got like souvenir stuff right here. No, no souvenir. How much is this one? Okay, the boat. The boat. Okay. Yeah. How much? How much? No, it's okay. Give me how my friend, go. Food, food. Thank you. As you can see guys, there's a whole bunch of Thai souvenir shops here also. But I'm really here to get some food. Food. They got painting artwork right there. They even have snake, you can go play with the snake. Guys, 
guys, this is hella cool, man. We have to come check this out. So besides the shops that are on the side here, they also have restaurants that are actually floating in the boat too. So like somebody's floating in a boat cooking food, you know? <laughs> um, I don't know, man, this is just insane. And I'm happy, I'm glad that I'm having this experience. Unlike no other. Hey. No, it's okay, go, go. Look at these painting guys. Really nice. So it's so much here to choose from. Art, souvenirs, food, beers, you name it, it's here. Passion fruit? Passion fruit. No? Okay. Never thought I'll be experiencing anything like this, but I'm here. Thanks to God once again, you know. Bunch of restaurants there. Here's a floating, floating fruit stand here. If you come here, you have to experience a floating market. This is insane. Never seen nothing like this in my whole life. All right, guys, so I just made a beer stop. Guys, everything here is more expensive, so please have your negotiating shoes and thinking socks on, okay? I'm just getting a chunk. The best local beer. Popunta. Okay. That's a chang right there. I mean, it's like 11 in the morning, but who cares? I gotta have a chang. <laughs> Love it. Guys, 
guys look at that little lady she's selling fruits floating in her boat but I really just want some good food today look at this guy he's selling coconut ice cream wow this is crazy See the sign there say welcome to the floating market all right guys i think i'm finally at the busy busy area where i might want to get food right here look at this guys Nothing but boat traffic. Crazy in here, look. Nothing but boat traffic here. All packed. What's up, man? What's up, man? Oh, you making a video? Or? Yeah, making oh, YouTube. What's up, bro? Hey, I, I gotta tell you guys, though, this is an experience. You have to come check it out. It's unlike no other. I promise you. Look at this. It's not about board traffic here, look. It's packed. One beer. You want to get Hey, I know your face from YouTube. <laughs> no, no, no. So I saw I saw this guy on David Bond's video. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guys. Okay, calamari. No, no calamari. Right here on the water. This is really good. <laughs> guys, this is insane. So now we have to move with the pace of the traffic because there's so many boats here we can't go anywhere. We just have to go with the flow. Because there's, as you can see, boats behind and boats in front. So we're literally stuck at this pace that we're moving at right now. Hello? 
love it though, love it. <laughs> wow, guys, look at that. She collecting the money in a in a little pan and then giving the change to the guy. This is so creative, man. It's amazing. Look, she cooking right there. She serving. She got the thing on a piece of stick. And look, look how she serve it, guys. You get your food and you change like that. Man, this is incredible. Never ever seen nothing like this. I really want food, but I haven't seen the spot that really enticed me. You know, and I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a man that goes off my vibe, and if my vibe don't tell me to get the food there, I'm not gonna get it there. Guys, we're literally moving down the canal at two miles per hour. There's so many vendors, so many vendors here. Look at this lady, she's actually selling fruits and she's cooking squid on the grill with her little propane tanks right here. This is so cool. Oh, this is halal food. I think I might. Where is chicken? Let me see the chicken. Fresh chicken, fresh one. Yeah. No, 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 I want that one, that one. Look, no. Taste it. Very hot, right? Good one. She too pepper. Okay. How much? Okay, 150. 150? Your box in my head. I'll take it though. It tastes good. How much you say? 150? Yeah, 150. I give you 140. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Where's my chicken? You need. <laughs> hey, don't play with me, you know. Hey, I'm from an guy. island just like you, you know. Okay. Don't play with me. Oh. Uh, no, it, safety, safety. It's okay, I'm good, I'm good. Don't worry. I got it. Thank you. Bokun ka. Finally got some food, guys. Chicken tastes really good, so, and it's fresh. Some, just some fried chicken, you know. There we go, some fried chicken for lunch today. I really should be having some type of starch with it, but. Mm. This fried chicken is so good, guys. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is one of the most amazing experiences I've had since I've been traveling. I'm not even gonna lie. As you can see, we're still moving slow. There's not much far you can go. There's like, all that is boats in front of us. And if you look behind us too, you'll see more boats. So we literally have to just go with the flow of traffic right now. And guys, this fried chicken is so tasty. Made fresh in a boat on the canal. What an experience. God is good. Thank God for this again. Look, they got the Jamaican apples right here, guys. Water apples. Okay. Okay. No, no, no.
the traffic cleared up a bit so we're starting to roll again and we're stuck again Alright guys, so we just made it through the traffic jam and we're rolling again. But I can tell you once again, this fried chicken that the lady made in the boat floating on the water, so tasty. Mm. Look at that. What is that? I don't know, but it's there. It's like a real huge lizard. I'm gonna have to find out the name of that thing when I stop. All right, guys, so we are back where we started. I only did a one hour at a relatively good price because of my negotiating skills. And yeah, man, this was one of the best experiences I've had in all my lifetime traveling, man. You guys have to come here. Have to come here. Dam Nyong Taduak Floating Market. Best floating market in all of Bangkok. Or it's not in Bangkok, but in Thailand. You know, best floating market in Thailand. So we're back where we started, guys. Right here. And now we're about to get off the boat. And this was an amazing experience. Totally amazing. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Go Kun Ka. Guys, that was fantastic. Love it. Love every minute, every second of it. You guys have to come check it out. And like I said, guys, the prices range from like 2000 upwards because they're trying to sell you all type of things. I only pay a thousand baht, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not stupid. I'm not driving an hour and a half to spend all that money and then just to float up the market. Plus, you're going to have to spend for food and beer and everything on that water. The price doubles, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's like I said, it's an amazing experience, man. And I would never trade this for nothing, you know what I'm saying? Never trade it for nothing. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you guys can stay updated or get automatic updates whenever I publish a new video. Thank you guys again for watching. Like I always say, live free, dream big, and travel modishly. See you guys on the next vlog.